Hey guys, so today I'm here with my March favorites, and I do not have that many favorites this month, which is actually kind of depressing because usually my favorites videos are so long and I have so many products to talk about, but I guess I really didn't vary off of any of my normal routines or anything like that, and I didn't really find that many random favorites that I've been loving, so I have one, two, three, four, five beauty favorites and two random favorites. So I know it's not a lot, but I still hope you enjoy, and I'm going to go ahead and get started with my beauty favorites. The first two are hair. The first one I actually did a review on in one of like last week's videos, and it's the Cortex 4-in-1 curling wand. It comes with four different um, curling heads, which I absolutely love because you can get different hairstyles and things like that. I did a whole video, though, on this, um, pretty much this kit. So if you want to see that, I will link it down below. But so far in this, my favorite one has definitely been the one and a half. I think. It's between this one and the one inch, but I like both of them so much. I think the curls just look really, really pretty, and so I've really been, just been in general just enjoying this kit. And then my second hair favorite is actually the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. I recently got this, and I have been using it all month. I do not use it every time I shower, though, just because it is a deep repair mask. It's a conditioner, but I do use it at least once a week, and it has just made my hair so silky smooth, so soft, so easy to work with. I love the stuff. It smells so good and it lasts for a really really long time so I absolutely love this stuff I know it's a little bit pricey but I think it's totally worth it like I think you can actually buy like the mini bottles too for like $20 but still I think it's worth it and I have been loving this this month three things are beauty items. The first one is the Too Faced Natural Eye Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I bought this a while ago and I never really started using it because I had bought in, like recently so many new eyeshadow products so I never really dipped into this but I started using it a lot more this month and I really really like it. I especially like the top row which is all the matte shades. It's Heaven, Velvet Revolver, and Sexpresso but the colors down here are pretty as well. They're all really really nice and like this one is actually like chunky which I don't really like but all of them are really pretty and they're all really really nice and easy to work with so I've really been liking this palette this month. This thing is also an eye favorite and it's the Urban Decay 24-7 Pencil in Zero. I've gotten back into using black eyeliner instead of brown because my brown eyeliner is about to run out and I don't want to like waste it, I want to savor it. So I've been wearing black a lot more, I have it on today in my waterline and I really like it. I especially love the 24-7 liners from Urban Decay because they last all day like I said. Like I've had this on since 5.30 this morning and it is currently almost 4 in the afternoon. So it's definitely been working for me, I really really like it and this is actually like a sample size and I've only had to sharpen it one time so really like this. My last beauty favorite this month is featured in a couple favorites back and it's the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush. This one is in exposed and the reason I like this one over my pink one just a little bit more is because it's so natural and it's so easy to just kind of contour in your cheeks with and I really really like this color. Um, it just looks like that. It's just like a natural brown color didn't really show up on my skin. I really really like it and um, it's probably been my most used blush this month definitely. Alright and for my two random favorites this month the first random favorite is the only one that's not like in my normal favorites which is the Pandora station and that is sweaters and I know it's springtime officially spring now but I just so much in this month I've been wearing sweaters and purchasing sweaters and it's still cold here so I guess it's like appropriate but I just love sweaters I own so many and I was thinking about making like a sweaters video but it's no longer like winter so I guess maybe in the winter when it comes around again I'll make a video all about my sweaters and like a lookbook or something like that but I absolutely love sweaters like I, I love them so much and then my last favorite, which is my most played Pandora station of the month. Last month it was Drake, and this month I definitely did like a U-turn or like a 180 turn. And it's Cruella this month. And if you don't know what Cruella is, it's like a dubstep techno dance um, band. I don't know if it's a band. But the station is so, so much fun. And I know their song Alive is on the top hit station, which I'm one of those people that's kind of like upset about it because like it's mainstream now, but um, I, I don't know, I don't really care. I love Cruella, I love their station, they play a lot of really, really good dubstep songs that I really enjoy, so I've really been loving that station this month. That's it for my March favorites, I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!